This is John Paul Rai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and you guys probably know Greg Ellis from Pirates of the Caribbean, and he keeps sticking up for Johnny Depp, so I wanted to feature one of his tweets here. This is retweeted by somebody, actually, and her name's Lisa, and Lisa says, I hope this highly publicized case will shine a light on how men can be victims of domestic violence. It's way more common than people think. Many men suffer in silence. My wish is for everyone to get the help they need women and men. And yeah, that's a nice overall theme to everything going on with the Johnny Depp case right now. So let's see what Greg Ellis says. A long overdue reckoning is coming, a very public one. And Greg retweeted out something that's pretty recent in the news about a camera being allowed in the Virginia courtroom. I haven't actually covered the official document on this channel, so I figured I'd go through it. Plaintiff John C. Depp II, Defendant Amber Laura Heard. The order. This matter came before the court on February 25, 2022, on its own motion to address a request to broadcast the proceedings upon consideration of each party's position. It is hereby ordered that one pool camera will be permitted in the courtroom in accordance with Virginia Code Section 19.266. Ordered that each party will provide proposed restrictions for which this court shall consider. Ordered that this court may issue further orders modifying media access in this matter. Entered on February 25th. So, like Judge Penny said, it will be limited. I guess they'll give certain media permission, other media not permission, but if they just broadcast it as the facts, as it is, without interruption, without narrative, without spin, then it doesn't really matter where they broadcast it. We just don't want it broadcasted with commentary, someone's opinion, where they select what they do want and don't want out there. We want the full un edited thing out there and obviously it looks like Greg does too. So here's a comment from Tanya Campbell. Shout out to her by the way and I really really like this comment. Without doubt the biggest acting role she's ever likely to play again. <laughs> Probably the biggest acting role ever for her and calling it an acting role is what I found funny and accurate. And Edie down there says and her last I bet. Well probably not. Unfortunately there will be people, I think, hiring her, and I've explained the reason is if you're at the bottom of the totem and you work with someone like Amber, there still are benefits to getting your name out there if you're completely unknown, and that's why some people will work with her who maybe have a crowdfunded picture or a grant or something like that. You know, unfortunately, she'll move on, but... At what caliber? Well, probably a very, very low-level caliber. Maybe just like slightly below where Meghan Markle was when she was acting. J-Bug says, Virginia's coming for Amber Heard with some hashtags, Justice for Johnny Depp Virginia 2022, and Aquaman in the Last Kingdom, which is a combination that I just covered last video that's, you know, something that's an association. Warner Brothers is scared to get out there, and some people are choosing to promote that association. And this tweet by Betty is, yep, I can't wait, which I feel part of me is like, I can't wait, but I gotta say, I still have this, you know, lingering nervousness that something's gonna go wrong because there seems to be still on the top in the corporations support for Amber. So I just gotta wonder what they're gonna try to pull Obviously, aside from proving her points, what are they going to try to manipulate around there on the top levels? So I feel like this too, it's just, it's such a split of, yeah, really excited to see what happens, but also, I don't know, seeing is believing because so many things are going wrong these days, but yeah, I'm hopeful. Everything seems so far pretty good. And these two people here, I think kind of represent like the normal person who doesn't know too much about the case. They don't know enough to be nervous that something bad could happen. You know, I just think I just can't fully enjoy it until we get the verdict we want. Then I'll be eating a lot of popcorn and watching it again and again and again over and over and over. 
Okay, I'll give that one about one second of video time. And again, someone post about karma. Like I said, a lot of people are jumping on the this is karma ship. And hey, if that's what you believe, that's fine with me. So anyway, there you have it. Always nice to see Greg Ellis sticking up for Johnny. He's been there for a long time. I'm not sure exactly when he pitched in at first, but he's been there for a few years, I think, on Johnny's side, on Twitter. And he's got a lot of the same viewpoints that people like me have and people who are supporting Johnny have and pointing out facts and evidence on Johnny's side. So give Greg a follow. He's definitely one of the good guys. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks. Things like that. If you don't subscribe, well, I guess it'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.